Hi everyone, this is Cassie from Lemming Lacquer. I'm going to show you how to add a curved text watermark to your picture. Once you have GIMP open, you go to File, Open, and then choose your file. You can double click. I am going to rotate my picture and zoom in a little bit by pressing Shift Plus on my keyboard. Once that's done, I'll go over to my layers, right click, and then choose new layer. You can rename your layer if you'd like, it's not necessary. I just make sure that it is transparent. Now with that new layer selected, I'll go over to the left hand side on my toolbox and click this arrow. Choose add tab and paths. Next you'll choose the paths tool which is right next to the color picker tool. It looks like an eyedropper. It's this one right there. This next part is going to be a little bit of trial and error. Uh, it depends on how big your picture is um, and how big your watermark text is going to be. For me, uh, it's going to start about right here. So click once to start, and then once again on your end point. Go towards the middle, click, and then drag. If you're unsure of how that looks, uh, you can go back over to your paths area over here on the far left box, click that, and then choose a different tool. I'm going to say text, and now we can see where our path is going to be. If you don't like the look of it, choose paths again, click on it, and then just tweak it by using these um, points here. Um, if you are ready to move on, click your text, er click your text tool. And I'm going to choose my color right now, so choose the upper left box here, and I'll use a gray color, I think. That looks good. Okay, uh, you can choose your font over here, and also your size. Again, it just depends on uh, what kind of look you're going for. I'm going to estimate 60, and we'll see how we do. Uh, I'm going to start up here because I don't want to be too close to my path because I don't want the text I'm typing up, um, the text I'm typing to go over the path. So click once, start typing. Once that's done, right click and then choose text along path. Uh, when your text is too much for the path, um, this is what happens with the line. Um, don't worry though, Cho uh, press control Z and let's try 50. Right click, text long path, done. So once that's taken care of, you have your text, go back to the layer we made, hover and then right click on the text, select from path. Our text has gone all squiggly, which is what we want. Uh, now we'll go to the paintbrush tool. The default is usually 18, which as you can see is pretty small. So you can make it bigger by either doing this by clicking on the size area and fiddling with it, or by typing. I'm going to say that this is a good size and continue. Hover over your text and just color it in by pressing the left mouse button. Once that's done, it's still going to look all squiggly, but it has taken. Um, go to your path tab again, right click on the top one, delete path. Then go to select, none. And there's your watermark. You're still going to have your text up here from, uh, from before, so just click on the layer for your text, right click, delete layer. And then there's your finished picture. For GIMP you do have to export it, so go to File, Export, and then type in what you want your file name to be. I'm just going to overwrite this one. Then click Export again. And there you have it. Um, this is a really easy and basic tutorial. Once you learn all the steps, um, it's going to be really easy for you to watercrop all your pictures with your curved text. 
I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and I hope that it's helpful to you. If you have any questions, you know, please comment or if you have any other tips for, pe for people who are new to it, you know, please leave that and make sure that you check out Lemming Lacquer on our blog and on Facebook. Thanks guys. Bye.